Hey, today's day 15 hmm. in our prayer books. Just wanted to bring to you the daily devotional for today. Um, let me ask you this question. Do you know the history of ice cream? People believe that it was actually invented 500 years B.C., I mean, before Christ, right, by the Persians. They would take saffron, which is like the center of a flower, and then vermicelli, which is a pasta, right? And then snow and ice, mix that with rose water, and that was like the first ice cream. I'm sorry, but that doesn't sound like much of a treat. So I'm pretty excited that my friends Ben and Jerry came along and gave us the next great thing in ice cream. Um, let me read to you the ingredients on this ice cream. Uh, chocolate and vanilla ice cream mixed with peanut butter cups, fudge covered toffee pieces, white chocolatey chunks, and fudge covered almonds. Now that is the next great thing. It's also diabetes in a cup, but that's something else for later. Um, what happens when the next great thing isn't actually the next great thing, it's just the next thing? And this is what I mean. When the, first, when the church first started and they gathered together, um, a lot of what they did was they all did it together. They prayed together. They read the Bible together because they didn't have their own Bibles, right? They had the Old Testament scriptures, but they didn't have them individually. They were kept at the synagogues. Um, and they had the stories of Jesus that were passed on verbally, right? There's no Bible app for them. They lacked all of these great resources that you and I, we have them on all of our bookshelves. We have them on our phones. We own them individually. But, but here's the problem. When the scriptures tell us how to become spiritually mature, we can almost do all of those things on our own. We don't need each other. At least we have the appearance that we don't need each other. But when the church first started, you start reading the book of Acts about how they met together every day and they, they prayed together. Listen, people learn how to pray by praying together. They didn't learn it on YouTube. You can't today even learn it on YouTube. I mean, not completely. You can't just read a book on prayer and learn how to pray. You learn it by praying and listening to other people pray. Here's my point for today. You're going to be on day 15 of your prayer book that is all about praying in community. My point is this. Praying together is vital to our spiritual maturity. Without it, we're actually missing something of a richness with our relationship with God and our spiritual maturity. So here's my challenge for you. Don't just pray for someone today. Before the sun goes down, pray with someone. Listen, it'll change how you know them. You will appreciate the friendship and the depth of who you are together. But listen, you might help them and learn how to pray. They might teach you in something of learning how to pray. Read day 15 in your prayer book. Look up those scriptures and then spend time not just praying with some, for somebody, but pray with somebody before the sun goes down. God bless you guys. Have a great day.